Hi there, my name is Ella Fountain and I am a rising senior here at Pomona College. I am a psychology major and an English minor, which has been a lot of fun for me. And this summer I will be interning as a camp counselor at Camp Andy over in Seattle, Washington. Um, camp Andy is essentially a summer day program for kids ages six to 12. And it was designed to help kids with autism spectrum disorder and or ADHD. Um, and kind of to help them build social skills in a less, you know, clinically formal setting. Um, and this summer program is based on the summer treatment program, which is a set of evidence-based practices um, recognized by the American Psychological Association. And then these kind of methodologies and teaching practices developed from that treatment program will essentially be integrated into this summer day camp setting. Um, for the children. So yeah. So I am planning on pursuing grad school as a school psychologist or a counselor. And I just am really passionate about working with children, especially children who kind of need additional support. And because of that, I, you know, want to pursue uh, being a school psychologist or a counselor. And I've kind of figured this out throughout high school. Um, as soon as I could start working, I became a gymnastics coach, and I've been doing that for the past six or seven years, and I found that, you know, I just really love watching my coaching and support help students flourish and find themselves and grow in confidence. It's truly one of the most rewarding things, um, and so when I kind of began coaching gymnastics as soon as I could work in high school, I realized that, you know, I wanted to work with children. I wanted to work in the field of psychology. I wanted to work as a teacher, um, potentially in like a, you know, like as a school psychologist in an educational um, school setting. So I, you know, continued to pursue opportunities where I could work with children. So as a senior in high school, I worked in a special education classroom. And I also did a program called Bear Buddies where I, you know, assisted an elementary student with selective mutism. As a freshman in college, I started volunteering with a program called Project Sunshine, where we got to support and just kind of brighten the day of children in pediatric hospitals. And then for the past year, I've been volunteering with this really incredible program called Link through the Draper Center at Pomona, where we go to an underfunded elementary school and um, we just volunteer. And I'm basically a teacher's aide in a fourth grade classroom. I get to kind of provide additional support for students who might be academically struggling or socially struggling. Um, yeah, and I also just kind of act as a general teacher's aide. Sometimes I conduct like reading groups. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, but I feel like Camp Andy and th like that specific opportunity will really allow me to gain more hands-on clinical experience. So while I've pursued lots and lots of opportunities to work with children in educational settings, um, Camp Andy will allow me to see kind of the clinical side of things, which I'm really excited about. Um, and many classes also at Pomona haven't really been able to provide me with. I've definitely seen the theoretical and the, you know, more research end of things, but I haven't yet necessarily been fully immersed in like a clinical setting. Um and I feel like that's really necessary to not only get into grad school, but just to prepare me for grad school and prepare me for becoming a school psychologist or counselor. Um, this camp is also just part of broader research, collecting data on how well the summer treatment program works and how effective it is for this, you know, subset of students um, with autism spectrum disorder and or ADHD. So kind of being part of that research process and helping to collect data will really also provide me with, you know, necessary research experience to get into grad school and to be prepared for grad school. And then finally, there are lots of like school psychologists that actually work for Camp Andy. And I didn't really even know this before applying, but um, upon like being interviewed and talking to my interviewer, he's also kind of like a supervisor. He told me that a lot of his colleagues are school psychologists. And I feel like this internship will really like allow me to network with professionals in the field that I'm interested in um, and hopefully make some really meaningful connections. And I feel like that could definitely lead to future career opportunities, which is super important to me as a low income student here at Pomona. So for a typical day at Camp Andy, I will just be fulfilling the camp counselor role. So throughout the day, I will lead my group of elementary school students through, you know, summer day camp activities like 
arts and crafts and sports, outdoor activities, maybe like water balloon fights, um, social skills classes as well. Um, and while doing these kind of typical summer day camp activities, I will also be implementing a token economy, which is based on the summer treatment program that I kind of previously discussed. And essentially for this token economy, um, behavior will be of each individual child in my group will be carefully tracked and that's my responsibility. Um, and children will then receive lots of positive feedback and reinforcement and encouragement. They will earn points for like exhibiting specific behaviors such as like helping a friend or you know raising their hand or helping a teacher. And then they will receive you know that coaching and feedback again kind of at the end of the day based off of um, what behaviors they exhibit and how they do at camp that day. Um, and then parents, it's also my job to integrate the parents into this process. So parents will receive kind of an end of the day rundown and a report card. Um, it's my job just to communicate to them on how their child did at camp. Um, yeah, and if there's anything they can work on at home. So it's my also my job and responsibility to keep the parent up to date and kind of integrate them into this uh, process. And then my supervisor will just be part of a team of other psychologists. And their main objective is just to thoroughly educate me and all the other camp counselors on how to implement the summer treatment program and how to use a token economy and also just to educate us on autism spectrum disorder and ADHD. Um, yeah, so and then also they will also kind of be part of the like specific camp group that I will be counseling. So they'll be like a certified psychologist with each group and if I have any questions or concerns or need help with anything, um, I'll just consult them for advice. Yeah, and they'll help me out. So um, I feel like a liberal arts education is really important to this kind of position. I personally have a pretty interdisciplinary background in both English and psychology, which um, I lend to my liberal arts education here at Pomona, of course. Um, and it's definitely equipped me with a, you know, diverse skill set and a very versatile mindset when approaching problems. I feel like both English and psychology in my personal experience in my daily life really emphasize like critical thinking and problem solving skills, whether it be something like analyzing literary texts or interpreting research or, or research findings or kind of like evaluating arguments. I'm definitely accustomed to approaching these kind of complex issues with both a critical eye, which I think kind of lends itself to my psychology background, as well as a creative eye, which definitely lends itself to my English background. Um, and I feel like being able to come at issues or bumps in the road with um, both a critical eye and creative eye, especially is important in working with children. Um, so I just feel like, yeah, whether I'm like addressing like a logistical issue or adapting to like changing circumstances, which is, you know, really necessary and working with <clears throat> a large group of children. Um, my like ability to be critical and my ability to be creative, which lends itself again to my liberal arts education will be super helpful and will help me, you know, overcome any obstacle and uh, achieve my desired outcome. So, and then of course, I know that summer funding is made possible through our incredible donors and the support of our incredible donors. So I just wanna reach out and say that I am deeply grateful for the invaluable support you provide to students like myself through summer funding. It truly just means so much and it alleviates not only financial barriers, but also opens doors to these like transformative experiences that truly shape my academic and professional journey. So I'm so, so grateful. And then also, of course, as a low income student on a full financial aid scholarship, um, the opportunity to pursue an unpaid internship during the summer is not only a privilege, but it's also a necessity. Um, and your support not only really enables me to gain this hands on experience in my field of interest, but it also empowers me to truly explore my career aspirations um, without the kind of usual financial burden that I have standing in the way. So it just really means a lot to me. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for listening. Take care.